I've taken all kinds of creatine you can think about. Vegan creatine, creatine pills, to the most common creatine monohydrate powder. So, which one should you take? And is it even necessary to take creatine to see progress? Let me tell you all the money I have wasted on YouTubers telling me that I should take creatine and take the magic creatine to get the same results as steroids. But today I will be unraveling the truth about if you should take creatine as a teenager. First off, don't get me wrong, creatine is a great supplement for weightlifting, sprinting or intense sport. But before you go out and buy your first bag of trenamine creatine, you should know these things. First, what is creatine? If you ask 99% of YouTubers selling creatine, they will just say, It makes you big. Creatine is like your body's secret stash of turbo boosters. It's a natural compound chilling in your muscles, giving you that extra kick during intense workouts, think weightlifting or sprinting. Our body whips up this magic naturally, mostly in the kidneys and liver. And guess what? You can also find it hanging out in red meat and fish. Many studies like Healthline says that creatine also stores water in your muscle cells. So just know if you gain a little bit of extra weight after starting your creatine intake, don't worry, it's just water weight. So should you take creatine? If you're an inexperienced teenager without any guidance on the subject, which I don't think you are because you're watching this video. But one thing I need you to ask yourself before taking creatine is, do I get enough water? Creatine draws water into the muscle that can potentially lead to dehydration. So while on creatine, remember to stay hydrated. Other things you should also think about, but I don't think most of you guys have to worry about is Pregnant or breastfeeding individuals, kidney issues, liver conditions, those sensitive to supplements, or anyone without medical clearance. But if you have any of these things, talk with a doctor about taking creatine. Now that we know which of you guys out there should take it, how much do you actually need to take to see progress? There are two different ways to approach the starting of your creatine journey. You just bought your first creatine bag, but now you might wonder how much should I actually take. The first and probably most healthy is the non-loading protocol. This is where you take the same amount of creatine the whole time on creatine, I would suggest 3 to 5 grams of creatine. This is good for not seeing that many side effects, and also gradual building it up allows for a reduced risk of discomfort and side effects. But if you are the person that wants results as fast as possible, this is not the right loading protocol. But then you have the loading protocol. This is where you take a high intake of creatine for maybe the first or two weeks, around 15 to 20 grams of creatine, and then go down to the normal non-loading protocol amount of 3 to 5 grams of creatine. This is great for quick results, some might experience performance boost, and saturating the muscle creatine stores faster. The downside is feeling more side effects, especially at the start of taking creatine. It comes down to your goals. If you want to lose weight and don't want to be knocked back, you shouldn't do creatine because it can make you feel like you are getting nowhere. But if you are bulking or just trying to look and get as big as possible, taking creatine is great. So it really depends on your personal goals and what you are trying to achieve. But a good rule is that if you are involved in high intensity strength training, taking creatine is great. It's not an overnight superhero powder for muscles. Creatine is more like a reliable workout body, gradually nudging your strength and muscle gains in the right direction. Patience is key. Remember, don't get upset if the weight goes up a little bit. It's just water in your muscles. Lastly, keep the hydration game strong. Creatine can draw water into your muscles, so drink up to avoid potential dehydration. Stay consistent, train hard and let creatine be your trusty sidekick on the road to achieving your goals in the gym. And just to say, just buy a normal non-branded bag of monohydrate creatine, it's the best. Don't buy the vegan or some branded YouTuber creatine, please. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep going at it brother.